So Brian, what do you make of the uh, downturn in trust in NGOs? Yeah. Because it's the first time we've seen it in 15 years. Yeah, you know, it's. Uh, I, I think we're we're becoming more like an industry, yeah. and uh, I think we're getting more and more seen like consumer-based companies or government uh, because we're getting actively involved in partnerships and we promoted that, you know, this shared value creation and so forth and I think we've become big institutions in, in many regards. So how do you trade up? How do you step it up? How do you get to the next level? Uh, get back to basics. You know, the fact is the best NGOs are purpose-driven. Uh, they get people involved. You know, your study made very clear that engaging people and, and individuals engaging others like themselves is what builds trust among, in addition to integrity, so being purpose-driven, engaging people, working on things that they care about, telling them about it, uh, going horizontal, not just vertical. And Brian, what about this notion of uh, so-called, uh, you know, capture by participating too closely with business or other? You, do, you, do you fear that? I, I fear it with government. I don't fear it with business. I fear it with government because government funding is so substantial that nonprofits and NGOs can, get, can become subcontractors. And government money usually comes with mandates. My experience is that uh, engagement with business is more of a partnership, not always equal, but more of a partnership. And government's going to have to catch up in terms of being real partners versus funders. And you can get captured in a hurry by uh, government giving you money. Good to see you, Pat. Thanks, Richard. Great to see you. Always.